Hi, this is Chris from RD2. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we put a post out about a new application that we just released. It is an Android application, and it's built to run on the Dell Streak. And the Dell Streak launched with 1.6. This particular Dell Streak is running uh, 2.1. And we developed this application uh, to run 1.6 all the way up to 2.1. First, real quick, I just want to make a quick comment about this phone. It is a phone. Um, there have been a lot of reviews online about it, but I, I got to tell you, I think it's it's uh, really, really well done. It's solid. It's got a really good, solid feel to it. It's similar. If you've ever played with a Sony PSP, it's got a similar feel to it. Um, it feel it cradles real nicely in the hands. It fits in the pocket. It makes it really easy to surf the web to cruise through your email, to cruise the applications you might have on it, and we've just been really impressed with it so far. So I'll turn the, the uh, phone on real quick, and the application that we developed is called the Dell i10 application, and here's the app logo, and what we have here initially is a nice user authentication screen. Um, our username and password are already filled in for us. We've got sponsors that are already a part of this um, that are integrated into the screen. We also have an offline mode, which gives us the ability to view any content that we might want uh, down the road. Or let's say you're at a conference or you're somewhere else and you want to be able to view that content on a plane. So this is uh, this i10 app was built to target senior IT executives at Fortune 500 companies. And the idea was to give them very exclusive and rich content that can give them uh, some value as far as what they're doing in, their, in today's uh, marketplace. So if they're interested in cloud computing, if they're interested in green IT, uh, and the, all kinds of topics that they have, and we'll show you some of those. So right off the bat, um, one thing that's pretty impressive about this is notice just the smoothness of the scrolling. Um, this thing, I don't know what they're doing to make it fast or whatever, but it just works really nicely. We have probably three or four hundred articles that are queued up here and it just feels really smooth and really well done in the hardware side of things. Uh, made it pretty nice to develop for. So. As an example, what we have is we've got our navigation on the left-hand side, all read, watch, listen, connect, saved, and topics. And then in this primary area over here, we have our content elements that are pulling in. And one thing that's pretty cool, um, I'll go ahead and click on one of these content elements. This is uh, the Michael Dell interview with Gartner Symposium. And we've got the ability to download or stream that content. All of this content that we see in here is fed in through a WordPress interface. So the application here was built itself in and on the Android tools using all of Android's recommended tools. But the application that hosts the content and serves up all the content is actually a very simplified version of WordPress. Um, we took out all the extra bits and pieces that we didn't need and now users have the ability to, con to publish content from anywhere in the world. So we realize that people are going to see want to see content in different ways. They may want to read it. So let's say they want to read the content. These are only pieces of content that are optimized for reading. So let's go into one. We've got uh, one on cloud computing here. And we can read this content. We can also share this content. So for example, we click, click the share button. Notice that we have Evernote, Facebook, Google Mail, Twitter, email, these applications show up automatically. One of the nice things about the way that this is developed is that if you have a tool like Evernote, for example, or a tool like Twitter installed, it'll automatically log that into this, into this dialog window. If you don't have that tool installed, it won't show up. So the application is smart enough to understand what tools you can share that with. Let's go into something that's watch. And I'll just pick this first one here. We can download this or we can stream it now. So here we are, we're streaming live content. This is content that's served up through the WordPress application. I don't have the sound up, but... Mine, on the traditional PSP, 
PC form factor still. So, so what benefits does the traditional form are actually really PC good. business bring you now? I think the traditional PC business is out. Okay. We can also do the same with listen. We can listen the content. Um, stream now. If I download any of this content, it's going to download and save to go into my saved items. I'm Michael Fox, and in this video, we're talking about evaluating technology solutions for desktop. So let's go through and instead of playing one, let's go ahead and download one. This is going to save the file into our saved okay, while area. While we're waiting, I downloaded another item, but uh, we can see here that we've got two saved items. And these are now ready to listen uh, in an offline mode. They're now saved to the SD card that's on the device. And there we have it. So we can listen to those whether or not we're online or offline. And the same with the video. These are both audio files. So quick word on topics. This gives us the ability to see um, not only content that we can view, read, or listen to, but content that's specific to a, a particular topic. And so, for example, if it's Dell-related content, it's going to filter down only content that's uh, tagged Dell in the WordPress system. You'll notice that uh, this, the administrators can select which of these content bits they want to be shareable. So you'll notice that not all of them are shareable. Some are and some aren't. Some of these just don't have the ability to share. Additionally, oops, as content is uh, pushed to the screen, one of the new things that's built into this application are push notifications as well. So anytime a new piece of content shows up, uh, you'll get a push notification up in the toolbar. It's really a remarkably simple application. Um, it's really all about giving very exclusive and high quality content to these executives. We think there's a lot of potential for an application like this in A, the simplicity in the user interface, but also B, the simplicity of how it's syndicated using the WordPress tool. So rather than spending a whole bunch of time and effort on developing an application like this and building all this complex uh, user interface around content management, why not just uh, use something that already works really well, and that's the WordPress app. And we had a, a, an easy time doing it. Um, probably shouldn't say this, but this is an application that only took four weeks to develop from start to finish, um, including all the design and all the application development. And we had a great, uh, great help on the Dell side as well, loading all this content. So it's been a really successful application for us, and we hope to share more with you soon.